Hello Internet, my name is Blitz. We're back playing Prom Dreams. Ignore that red stuff over there. We're gonna run like fucking hell through this gym- God damn it, Kyle, can't you run any faster? No particular reason why we're doing this, we just went out of this building quickly. There we go. I'm still doing some exploring to do see hauntings. I believe I only have- Wow, I just tried to scratch my eye with my rain. That would have been- Really, really bad. I already checked everybody in here. I just have one more section to check. So I'm gonna put some stuff together and we'll let you know if you miss anything. Well, I'll put it. I, I can English real good. Okay. <laughs> just, I'll be back. What say you, Sigmund Freud? I truly worry about that child sometimes. No matter what I say to them, they seem to fall further and further into their depression, but without the approval of their family, I can't. Who? Claire? Oh, I didn't realize you were standing there. What's that? Who was I talking about? Kyle, you know I can't tell you that. It's extremely confidential. Now, if you'll excuse me. Okay. That wasn't weird at all, certainly. Hello? Dr. Ackerman, Mrs. Uh, Attack on Titan, hello. Every year around this time, I think back to that Annie Horowitz case ten years ago. I've seen her yearbook photo. She looks so happy and gentle. To think she could have died so... Violently? Dramatically? Oh, Kyle, you startled me. I apologize. I shouldn't be talking about something so morbid with a student, I just... I want you all to have a safe, fun time at prom this year, alright? <laughs> Okay, I lied a little bit. I have uh, I have another section to check. The, this section. I've been voided because this is where I need to talk to Brooke. Or this is where I did talk to Brooke. Well, Brooke's not in the library anymore, is she? So I could probably, like, go in there without, like, starting anything, right? We'll, just, we'll see. Well, she's right there. So, she says the same thing. I just forgot to check around here. You know, whatever. <laughs> Oh, hello. Is that Claire? Who's- uh, I've seen this person at the, um, table. Excuse me. Who is this? And in addition to the implication that Ophelia committed suicide, the text makes it, makes it quite clear that Hamlet's cruelty left her permanently scarred. In her final appearance on stage, she appears disheveled, passing around flowers and singing mad songs about men who mistreat women. While some could criticize this outcome as a result of Ophelia's own weak will, oh, perhaps we ought to not think of her so harshly. After all, the music fucking stopped. It was the prince she loved who hurt her in the first place. Was she looking at me just now? And is this Claire? So I've only seen this person reading the book and I've never been able to interact with her. Unless I'm just misreading the sprites and that's not a person in the wheelchair. Maybe there's multiple people in the wheelchair at the school. I don't know. Maybe I'm ableist. Who knows? Claire is hard at work typing a paper that appears dictating to her. Oh, oh. Oh. Maybe, is she, like, completely paralyzed? Like, she can't even, like, type? And Claire's working to write it for her, you know? That's so nice, if I wasn't already so fucking suspicious. Literally no one else has a picture. She's important. Who is she? Annie? You have interesting eyes. I, I don't know. Serena, that's like all the- my mom, that's- that's like naming off all the characters I know. Okay, now that I've done every- I've checked everybody, I think I can go and actually go talk to, uh, Mrs. Tachibana. Tachibana-sensei! Is it racist to point out that she's obviously Japanese and then adapt to her language? Who knows? I don't know. I- I just don't. I don't know. Anyway, um... Flowers! Flowers. That's who- that's what we're talking about. Ikebana, are you ready to attend social studies? Am I? I, I guess- uh, no? Let me say it first. Uh! 
forgot about the saves I'm not supposed to overwrite. I don't know why. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why. My afternoon classes go by as usual, social studies, English, art. Occasionally I think back to what Randy said. Even if things don't go as planned, everything's going to be okay in the end. I don't fucking believe you. I want to believe in that. No, I'll have to believe in that if I'm ever going to move on from Serena. Even when every fiber of my being is trying to tell me otherwise. I don't want to run away from love anymore. Brooke, I can only hope you'll be my second chance. Uh-huh. Mmm, yeah. Mmm, yes, Brooke. Okay. Day three. Day three. Let's go get some flowers. Here's my problem with flowers. Total shift in emotion. I don't like cut flowers. I just don't. Like, I don't get them. Like, here. Here's a symbol of my love. Here, place it in a vase and watch it slowly shrivel and die, knowing that you can do literally nothing to prevent it. If anything, you can only put off the inevitable. <laughs> oh, a bouquet. You, do you need it this afternoon? Uh, yeah, sorry, it's on such short notice. Oh, this is this. I thought people were in the house yelling and talking. I don't know. Oh no, don't be sorry, Kyle. I'll be ha I'd be happy to help. So let me guess, you waited until the last possible moment to ask someone to prom, didn't you? Well, I mean, oh, yeah, kind of. How'd you know, anyway? <laughs> Call it a teacher's intuition. I've been one long enough to know these things when I see them. And fortunately for you, I've got a bunch of fresh-cut roses that need to be used up before they wither. Yay! Oh, really? Wait, aren't- they aren't red, are they? Indeed they are. I was gonna make a bridal bouquet for a friend of mine, but they had to postpone the wedding due to a family emergency. Oh, I'm- I'm so sorry. And here I was, wondering what I was gonna do with them. Great! They'll be perfect. Thanks a bunch, Mrs. Tachibana. So, when can we get started? Oh, hold now, hold on a moment, Kyle. You can't make a bouquet with only one kind of flower. Well, I suppose you can, but it'll look rather drab, don't you think? Yes. I do think. Oh, yeah, I guess you're right. So what other kinds do you think I'll need? Hmm, well, I'm envisioning something simple, something classic, something we can put together in under an hour. Yeah, Ike Ikebana also takes a shit ton of time, more time than you would think was necessary to arrange. We want the roses to be the point of focus, the main attraction, so to speak, so what can we do? So, what we can do is ex accent them with the smaller flowers, preferably white ones. Huh? Why white? Well, they don't have to be white, but it's a traditional combination would make an arrangement for ro making arrangements for romantic occasions. With that said, I'll let you in on a little secret of mine. Sometimes when I need a flower I don't have, I'll cut some of the ones in the courtyard and use them. Oh, I won't tell nobody you do. Wait, wouldn't that make the janitor angry? I'm, oh, doubtlessly, but what he doesn't know won't hurt him. Now I'll go and grab some of the roses and ribbon while you find more flowers in the courtyard. Remember, they need to be small, preferably white as well. And don't worry about getting in trouble, no one will even notice. Okay, uh, alright, if you say so. Wow, never figured Mrs. Tachibana to be such a rule breaker. Yeah, living on the edge. But never mind, time to head down to the courtyard and see what I can find. I will. That is all the time we have for right now. Next time, I will be trying to find ivy geraniums. Which is, um, I, I don't know if those, do those, I guess they come in white. I've had geraniums, but I, I guess I've only had the basic geranium. <laughs> They've always been pink or red. No, I have pink and I have red. I've never had white geraniums. I should get some white geraniums. That'd be nice. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Game links in the description below if you wish to play this. On your own, get ahead of me, tired of me, dragging my feet, and getting scared shitless, and then being too afraid to, to proceed, and getting kind of emotionally traumatized, because I love somebody really much, and she's not here anymore, but not that that's actually happened. <laughs> so, again, thank you so much for watching, and until next time, bye internet. Bye.